Last night, Courtside Karen. Have you heard of that? No. Have you heard of Courtside Karen? I saw it this morning. So, uh, LeBron got into some words with some dude. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Allegedly. There's not even any proof. Right. Like, he, she could be fabricating There the wasn't a thing. video? No. Oh. Well, there was a video of her getting kicked out. But there wasn't a video I of, a video of her, like, that. POV. I find it hard to believe that there wasn't a video of LeBron and her talking, if there was something. You know what I'm saying? No. The, Someone the, recorded that. What, what, what ended up... Uh, she could have said some dumb shit and then just made up a story. Mm. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like... Well, she got... Her and her husband got kicked out. So she was talking shit to LeBron, and LeBron says some shit back. I think LeBron was talking shit to her husband. Is yeah. That, and then she, like, stepped in no, and yeah, started... No, no, no. But think about, think about what you just said. LeBron was talking shit to her husband. I think. I don't really know. Think about what it would take for a professional basketball player to... Actually say something? Be like, mm, Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> Your shoes are garbage. Like, what the fuck are you wearing? Mm, You're like, yes. get the fuck off my The guy must said some shit. The dude some said something shit. to Bron. He did for sure. Yeah. Right? You think about and then, Le- and then LeBron fucking looked at him and says, like, it's like, you pay to see me play. <laughs> you watching me. <laughs> you watching me. <laughs> Look at my bank account. <laughs> you know, that's LeBron saying. Yeah. So then the wife stands up for LeBron and starts calling him a pussy ass bitch. Or Wait, something for LeBron or for her husband? No, for her for her husband. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah. for LeBron, she turns to her husband. She's yeah, like, you fuck fucking you, bitch. Greg. And, and and essentially like they, they ended Love up you, LeBron. <laughs> they ended up getting kicked out and she made like this massive fuzz about it. If a if a player is telling you to get kicked out, like if there's incident, you should get kicked out. Mm-hmm. Because if they're drinking on quarter one and the first quarter they're only going to get drunker as the, as, as the game progresses, yeah. and it's only going to get more egregious. It's only going to get more egregious, and I'm not just going to sit there. Like, what if somebody throws uh, uh, something at me? I'm not going to fucking just sit there and take it. Mm-hmm. Um, court. You go run our test on them? I would. See, like, even that, right? The the Even that. Like, if, if, if there's a fan that's trying to fight me, a super athlete, and <laughs> I got size on them, zero chance that I'm going to let anybody try to step up to me like that. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling threatened by you. I'm here to do my job. You're just here to spectate me doing my job. Bing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it would have yeah. been uh it would have been justified. Okay, courtside Karen, here is the video for you to look at and Wait, is Ron Artest the same guy as Meta World Peace? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So I have seen that video. It was a just started fighting somebody. a fan, right? Yeah. He was on the Lakers. Yeah. He just started um, swinging on someone. Somebody. Some dude walked up to him, a little short, chubby guy. And like, he just started swinging on him, right? Keep yeah, he started kicking right. his ass. Yeah. See, like, I don't believe, I don't think, I don't I don't believe, believe that was just cap. I don't believe that. that was cap. That's what I'm saying. Like, even the way she tells it, I don't believe a word she said. That was the most yeah. cap I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, it was, I don't know, it was There ridiculous. needs to be some kind of video evidence of those two talking. Yeah. yeah. There is a video of her courtside. I didn't, yeah, I didn't watch it all. I don't know. No, there is. And she, but, yeah. I mean, again, if they're not talking and, like, look like they're, you know. Getting into it? Yeah, roasting each other. Then yeah. it's like, how and can then, you well, believe Le- that? LeBron yeah. said, it's like, I'm having this this disagreement with this dude. And it's just, like, the relationship of a player and a, and a, and a heckler, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm having, and all of a sudden, this other person steps in. And turns it into something that that wasn't, and it could have been just that, right? It could have been LeBron feeding into that that player heckler relationship, mm-hmm. just because it's you know part of the fun or whatever. They don't have any fans in the stands. They don't have any, you know, so that that relationship. Oh, that's even worse. There's nobody there. Yeah. So you can like really hear this guy probably said something stupid. You know who's the worst heckler in the world? My brother. I hate going to play. I hate going to events with him. He'll talk shit to everyone. And I'm just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like players on the yeah. court? Really? Yeah, he'd be like, oh, he's like, oh my God, nice pants, dude. <laughs> like, oh, like, so, so. And I'll be like, yo, shut up, man. You're embarrassing me. He's like, just like, fucking move then. I'm like, I'm not I'm, 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 like, I'm, I bought the seats. I'm gonna fucking buy seats now. Anyway, I don't know. I just I I that I think is being blown up blown out of proportion because of social media and her going crazy on social yeah, media. For sure. I don't know, but unless the, until I see the video, I'm not gonna pass judgment on on either side. Yeah, you know, because because yeah. you know the guy could have said, "Good game, LeBron," and it rhymes with something else, and then Le- don't think something. don't think about it, don't think about it. Let's just move on. Kind of a good one. Uh, Whatever. Yeah, he wasn't. Uh, yeah, that's it. YouTube comments. We read them all. Any closing comments for this episode? If somebody said, if somebody yelled at you at a at an event, I used to get all the time at Halo events. There were a lot of Halo hecklers. Yeah, they'd sit, they'd stand behind you on Peter Station. Yeah, I remember after we screaming. got reverse swept in Atlanta, some guy was backstage and he said, "Long flight home," and I was like, "It's literally a two hour flight." Like, <laughs> <laughs> really? Who said that? Why didn't you tell me? Just some random guy. 
and then I, well, I was in the I was in the middle of dapping up uh, Temper and Banks like good games congrats to you guys yeah. like I'm winning and then some random dude like walked past us and was like long flight home wait I think I remember that yeah and I was like what the fuck <laughs> I was like well I was like what's your deal it was like one of the, like the phase dudes it's not too well known like phase like Trixie or some shit yeah <laughs> it, it could have been but he was backstage so I was like maybe that was like one of them talk it could, I, I, in my mind I rationalized it as it was probably one of the phase guys talking shit. And I was already talking to them, so I like kind of just looked backwards, didn't really even look, yeah. and then continued. I do remember that though. But I, I would have been mega confrontational about that. I was like, I mean, I said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and then I turned around. But like, Will, did you ever get heckled? Um, it's kind of hard to heckle at a con event, unless someone's sitting in the stands, yeah. like, <laughs> like happy, the guy, the guy, the guy in Happy <laughs> Gilmore. You're like looking. You're just talking just about in the back. <laughs> the guy in Happy Gilmore. You're just like, you suck, jackass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, I'll, meet you in the, I'll meet you in the parking lot, McGavin. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a nail stick out of his head. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, episode number 11 of the Optic Podcast. Certainly appreciate it. Did I just hit my no, you didn't. Magnina? Mm-hmm.